Hey, it's Evan, and today I'm answering a question from one of my YouTube viewers, uh, Ronnie. Ronnie, thank you so much for writing in. Love you, YouTube guys. Ronnie wrote in to say, how do I stop all the spam on my WordPress blog? It's so time consuming to delete and find that I've stopped posting because it just opens up the door for more spam and I don't have time to devote the cleanup. I must be missing something. Surely it shouldn't be this time consuming, difficult, frustrated. Ronnie, I feel your pain. I went through the same thing and you know what? The more popular your blog gets, the more spam you're gonna get. I mean, that's one of the price of being popular, I guess. I've dealt with it a few ways and hopefully you can learn. I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I do that uh, that you can leverage. So I'm gonna load up my blog. This is my, uh, this is my back end on the blog. You can see I've had 3,400 posts, 34,000 comments, 31,000 are approved, 2,200 are spam. And if I go to my comments, for the most part, um, they're pretty good. So there's some comments that have come in. Uh, if I look at what's pending, there's a few. Some of these still do require some manual approving. So high events, so few people seem to realize they've overcome, they've already overcome the biggest risk. So you know, Gary has provided some great uh, comment here on the post, so I can approve that. This one, my brother and friends recommended I am like this website. This is where I'm kind of on the fence because English is not the first language and this doesn't look like a spammy comment, but you know, do I approve it or not? I usually make a judgment call. This one, he's just trying to add to the conversation even though the English isn't perfect. It's not a spam, you know, use the real email account, so I'd approve that. But if I look in my spam folder, You'll see thousands and these get deleted I want to say every 30 days it gets anything in my spam folder just gets deleted so it doesn't get doesn't add up and add up and add up what you'll find is a mix of people uh, people who will try to post something that's kind of related you know nice articles but then if you look at it it's Uggs glove and it's some you know spammy website here that's showing up um, I have to check every now and then to see you know, what the what are is in here too, because this one might work, you know, very true, you gotta take some chances. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's a spam. I don't know, Alfred Real Estate. Um, but it relates to this topic, so I could say not spam as an example, and that would, could be posted. And then you get some that are just totally, you know, flat out spam, like what the heck is this? I don't know, what whatever this thing is. And, uh, you know, spammy website, and, and it'll just get removed. So having great spam filters is definitely a great way to do it. And how I've built it up, there's a couple things that can help you. The first is having the plugin, and you should already have AccuSmet. This is the main one that I use, and, and WordPress usually comes with this by default. And this does a great job of eliminating the spam. You need to sign up for an AccuSmet API key. Always make sure that this is up to date. So whenever this says that it's out of date, go get the newest version because it does most of the heavy lifting for me in limiting the spam that comes in. So you definitely want to update this. And then beyond, you can also edit your settings. So in discussion here, some of the settings that I have here are, I don't approve every comment manually and I don't get an email to me all the time, but I find these two ones are really important. So if somebody has already had a comment that's been approved before, then it'll get posted, it'll be approved again. I'm assuming if somebody has done a good job in commenting before, they're gonna do a good job ongoing. So there's a little bit of trust factor there. Usually spammers don't have great comments and then crappy comments, they just start right away with the crap. So that's why I have this checked off. So if they've already approved the comment, then they get in the next time. And uh, maybe by showing this, I'm uh, opening myself up to a lot of spam. Anyway, uh, the other one is if somebody has three links or more in their post and it gets flagged as well, so it doesn't get automatically posted as a comment, it'll get held for moderation. Those are the two things that come up. And I find that these settings, along with keeping AccuSmite up to date, really help me. The last thing I do is I do not usually do a lot of the comment filtering myself. I've set up somebody on my team and her responsibility is to go through the comments and approve the ones that are good to let me know if I need to respond to some of them. Uh, so I can approve this one here that we just took off. And so I don't do this myself and you can set that up easily. You can have um, under users, you can set up other people to come on. So here's your user option. You can add a new user and you can set up a virtual assistant to come in, even if it's once a day to go in and, and approve comments and just move the other ones to spam. Uh, it could save you a lot of time and help you focus on the bigger picture. Worst case, if it's still bogging you down, you don't wanna you know, spend the you know, couple bucks an hour, whatever it is to hire somebody to, to do that for you and it's still causing a lot of problems for you, 
I would then just eliminate comments because I don't want it to hold you back from writing. Writing is so important. It's getting your opinion out there. You, you have content that could be shared and you're, you're sharing your voice with the world and it's so critical because you need word of mouth marketing to promote your business. So if, if it's the comments that are holding you back, this has worked for me and again, I've had, I forget how many comments, what did I say, 30? 31,000 approved comments. So I've got a lot of comments that I've had to sort through. And for the most part, these two tools work for me. But if you're still finding that it's just too overwhelming and you can't have somebody help you with it, then just eliminate comments, but make sure that you keep writing because it is so important for your business. So hopefully this has helped. You can see here, Atkinson is protecting me from almost half a million spam comments already. So it's got a ton of spam as well. And I know it's a frustrating problem, but uh, hopefully it doesn't hold you back from continuing with your blog. Believe. For those of you watching like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. I love to hear if you're fighting spam with another way that I haven't discovered yet and share it with me and, and share it with Ronnie as well. Uh, if you guys like the video, thumbs up. If you have a comment, let me know. Question, let me know. Feedback below. I'll make a video response. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.